Hey guys, I want to give you all a little update here. I know I ain't made a video in a while, but I want to show you something that got hauled off to me. Now, I'm trying to decide, should I rebuild this thing? This is old. The only information I could find is, according to the records, there. Uh, this is a Go Light travel trailer, and it's sitting on a 3,000 pound axle, five bolt, um, made in Boise, Idaho. Now, from what I understand, Go Light originated in Boise, Idaho, then sold out to a company in Nebraska. So there it is right there. Go Light, Boise, Idaho. Um, quite the antique, 1959. So you look over here, and it says right here, 1959 BX. Okay, it's a uh, build year. And this is a 59 Go Light. Now, there's the door for it. It's upside down, so you get an idea there. It has a metal panel that goes in the bottom. Um, that right there is a, uh, a kind of a neat door in itself. So a lot of rebuilding work if I decide to rebuild this or it makes a nice little box camper trailer if I don't. So, so you can see that's kind of cool. Um, the, uh, the old style hitch on it, um, square tube construction and it has two main beams. You're going to look, you're going to love this underbody. The, uh, the coolness of the underbody, how, how neat it's made. So what they've got is they've got double studs running down along the frame. So they have frame members shooting across at about three foot centers. And you can see there, there's the 10 inch brake. So that's a 3000 plus axle. Um, pretty, pretty old fashioned building. So, but a full two by four inch boxed metal frame. The whole thing is real structural. Uh, I like it. Might make this into a, uh, might make it into a little flatbed of some kind. Um, kind of a, kind of a lot of really neat metal with it. Um, kind of a cool hitch setup on this right here. Comes with its original wheel and caster. Uh, the, uh, let's see here, it's a, a 5,000 pound capacity hitch on it. So, what I'm working with is whether or not I should restore this thing. It's pretty bad. Has a has a lot of age on it. So flatbed or really expensive restore job. Um, looks like it has a real nice looking hydro flame heater in it. Um, there is the sensor bulb right over here for it because it is a standard thermostat, mechanical thermostat system. See that right there? And you look at it. Normally these would be all rusted out. Look at this dirt. Normally be all rusted out. These cans would be uh, for the heater, for the uh, heater out here. In fact, this would be all all rusted out and burn up, and it's not. So it's possibly this heater will be salvageable. 1959 model heater, and the door. I'm sure there's going to be people who might want this door for their their RVs. Um, has a little porta potty thing. I don't know what. Probably a bucket or something. The refrigerator ice box, I use an ice box, put a block of ice in, would go in there. The hand pump for water. Oh, I can hear that actually pumping now. It, it's actually pumping. <laughs> the hand pump for water. And the second one for, I guess, would be the water for um, when you're hooked up to uh, outside, you know, hooking up to a park or something. The stove. I mean, just look at this thing, 1959, original holiday stove. Um, probably gonna be full of something in here. Oh wow! Uh, other than other than some rust on that burner, it's actually in really good condition. Um, so the restore on this is probably not likely. However, um, you look in here. There's a, a galvanized water tank. Just looks like a rolled metal seamed tank damn cheap the rest of the camper is all rot out so all this birch and other paneling in here is just rotted out but structurally it's really solid I mean the roof is solid it, they use these inside beams and then they use another then they use a layer of paneling and then there's another beam like this on top of this one uh, and then insulation and a roof so it's got pretty stout I mean it hold a good snow load um, cabinets but like I said lots of rod out um, sugar left in it for the mice things like that 
a lot of flies in it right now. So, um, what do you guys think? Uh, we're looking at possible restore. We're looking at maybe run like hell, um, pull all the parts off, sell them on eBay, most likely. The rest of it is what it is. It's not impressive. It's a mess. Um, getting filled full of flies right now. Sun going down. So this is what we found. It's a freebie. Another, another salvage. The last time this thing was licensed in Idaho, it's got the tube hitch on that, um, was 1973 tags with a 1979 sticker on it. That's the last time this thing was on the road. So look at this cool license light. Isn't that just cool? And these tail lights that are just classic. So we're probably gonna turn it into a flatbed. Uh, give me some feedback, guys. Let me know. It's got the exhaust vent for the stoves missing. A lot of damage, a lot of rot in it. The metal could be all removed and it could be reframed, but that's a lot of money. Um, trying to get some feedback from you folks. Let me know what you think. And out here we got all these RVs that are in salvage that we could pull parts from. There's a lot of them. So even all down there, there's a few of them. They got their motors out. Uh, that's what I do for a hobby. I make, make a little bit of money salvaging these things out. But this one's a neat one. I like it. A lot of uses for all this stuff. Might save the metal, might save the whole thing. Post below, let me know what you think. Subscribe, send it to a friend. Somebody who might know about these go lights might want it before it becomes a flat light. Y'all be good.